Hey everyone, Jay here from the Minecraft Science and welcome back to yet another video guys and today today this is episode number 21 of Being the Hollow Nights I'm talking rather quietly as it's currently 10 minutes past 11 and my window as you can't quite see but it's wide open because it is really hot in the UK at the moment we've been having a lot of heat waves um, a lot of heat waves we've basically had a heat wave since the beginning of this month it's hotter than it's ever been before and well not hotter than it's ever been but it's really hot and I think basically everyone is taking the heat is taking its toll on everyone but yeah that's not what we're here for today we're not here today to talk about the heat today we are here to talk about the Harry Potter audiobooks now I'm not going to time myself on this one mainly because I just want to give a fair few points about why I like the Harry Potter audiobooks written or not written by Stephen Fry but voiced by Stephen Fry. I'll be doing a Jim Dale one whenever I can get a hold of the Jim Dale ones and listen to them in their entirety. And then also maybe doing a comparison episode to compare the two. But the big thing I would say right now is that I love the Stephen Fry audiobooks. I think that his voices are really good. I think he can do female voices exceptionally well. Um, and just generally, I feel like he does certain characters really well um one of my favorite things from the books is this is the bit in definitely hollows where i felt just like students out of bed students in the corridor and then we're going to say they're supposed to be you blithering idiot and that bit to me in the audiobook is just amazing and to me as much i love maggie smith and um david bradley and i love david bradley I just don't think that scene lived up to what it was in the book for me, in the film, but that's, I think I talked about that in the film review for Deputy Harris Part 2, which was the last episode of this I uploaded, and was one of the last videos that I uploaded. Anyway, moving on. So, basically, I, I love Voldemort. The Voldemort voice that he does is amazing. I love, like, Tom Riddle's voice. Um, I don't think it's on this. Um... Tonks, I really like Tonks. She's she makes me laugh from time to time. Um, I like the effects that they put on the the, the voices as well sometimes, like um, the snake, the parcel tongue, and like everything else. To me, it just kind of really makes this. Um, it really makes me enjoy it a lot. Um, I don't know if it's something positive. Not that. There aren't enough. It's just so um, I love Stephen Fry's narration. And I do think that um yeah, I do think that he will remain to my favourite even if I do get to listen to the Jim Dale version. Just because like I don't think that I think it's because I've listened to Stephen Fry over and over and over and over again. But yeah, uh some of my favourite bits are um, like I said that bit. Uh, I do love hearing him read some of uh, I'm currently listening to Prison of Azkaban and um, I'm hearing him read the bit, you know, March's visit. It's one of my favourite parts of the books. I'm glad we only see out March once. Um, but yeah, really, that is pretty much all I wanted to say about Stephen Fry. It's not that there isn't many good things to say about him. It's just there's not much I can think to say because he is just so good. Uh, and in my, like I said, I've grown up listening to him. I must have listened to the books at least... 50 times, at least more, probably more than that. Um, each of them is like 50 times 7, which in turn is about 350 times. Everything through the entire book, hearing Stephen Fry's voice. And even before I had it on Audible, I had um, the tape. I actually had like, the original tapes, but like, not the original tapes. The original one, one about. I had tapes for Chamber of Secrets and Order of the Phoenix, and CDs for all the others. But then my chain Philosopher's Stone CD started bugging out a bit. Um, my Prison of Command CDs were getting a bit glitched. So I lost a Goblet of Fire CD, and the only copy of Goblet of Fire I had skipped the maze, skipped the third task. It was a weird misprint book, so I couldn't read that for ages. Then we got Audible. Mum bought Audible. And it was that of an Audible account, and we bought the Harry Potter books. So the first one was the last one we brought. But it was, so it was so nice, after not hearing it for ages, to go back and listen to it. And one of the things I do love to do at the moment, like I say, I'm in book three. 
and I'd love to go through the series and I will, I do love to go through the series and eventually certain things that I'm I feel like I'm gonna pick up stuff more and more now since I've because uh, today I watched uh, Fantastic Beasts and Wide Wine for the first time on the recording that review later on tonight. But I watched that for the first time and I loved it. But I have a feeling that when I go through and watch the rest of the the eff listen to the rest of the to the books, I'm gonna have those references that I might have missed. But I don't miss many. I'm, I, I sound really cocky there, but that there might have been references that I might have missed. That now I'll be able to understand more because I'll hear it and I'll be like, ah. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much all I want to say. Stephen Fry is amazing uh, at reading the books. He does an amazing female set of female voices. He has an amazing collection of voices, and it's not like he's just got like a collect. It's not like he's just like, oh, look at all these voices I can do. Each voice has to fits the character, and even Joanne Rani herself has said that it fits the character perfectly. But anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Sorry I was a little bit quiet, so I might pull my window too in the next episode, just so I can talk a little bit louder. But guys, thank you so very much for watching. If you haven't enjoyed today's video, and you would like to see more content, like this on the channel, please don't forget to like the video. If you are new around here, then please subscribe by clicking down here, and if you do subscribe, hit the bell, so you can get notified whenever I upload to my channel. Once again, as always guys, you can click down in the description below to find all the channels in the TMA family. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next video. Remember, you are awesome! Don't anyone tell you different, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Goodbye!